Hero Team Face for Hire Funky M here, back with another marvellous legend for ya. So, you ever wonder what happened to Bucky Barnes? What? Dead? Well, I can see it, him falling from a train into an icy river and all. But that wasn't the end of Bucky's story, cause a new one starts right here in Captain America The Winter Soldier. Coming to you from 2014, Captain America The Winter Soldier is Cap's first solo adventure in the modern MCU. There's something rotten in S.H.I.E.L.D. and Cap's determined to get to the bottom of it. On the way, we'll see Nick Fury get another big damn hero moment, and find out that Hydra might not be as dead as we thought. Ooh, scandalous! So let's get into it. Here's our third marvellous legend, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Meet Sam Wilson. Used to be part of the Parachute Rescue Unit, now works with veterans on adapting to life on City Street. We'll be seeing more of him a little later on. But for now, it's off to the mission. French pirates have taken a S.H.I.E.L.D. ship hostage, and our team's sent to clear him out. Cap knocks out the guards on deck, Black Widow secures the engine room, and Brock Rumlow frees the hostages, which only leaves their leader, Georges Batroc. So this is a great little fight, but it's YouTube so we're skipping it. Man, somebody needs to get up in their face. And whatever Widow's up to with the computers, which Cap takes up with Nick Fury. Cap didn't like the idea that he wasn't given the full picture. He wasn't told about Black Widow's side mission to pick up the data. Of course, he wouldn't have found out about that side mission if he'd charged Batroc into the other wall. So in that spirit, Fury shows off his new project. And Cap has thoughts about Project Insight. This isn't freedom. This is fear. Shield. So that data Black Widow saved? Fury can't unlock it. By his own order. So the system says. Now there's something. A S.H.I.E.L.D. secret that even Nick Fury doesn't know? And he needs a word with the Secretary of Defense. Cap's reaction here was all Fury needed to convince himself that Project Insight isn't actually such a good idea. And after an interesting afternoon, cause you see there are forces that really want Project Insight to go ahead, but how do they know that Fury was the guy? Oh, we'll get there. Fury turns up at Steve's place. But he ain't safe there either. Cap spots the shooter, but this guy's no ordinary sniper. So yeah, not even Nick Fury can beat the Reaper. Next day, Cap meets with Secretary Pierce to hash out what's really going on. Pierce claims that Fury set up the boat jack, get him away into the data what was on the computers. Pierce also talks about the idea that Fury tried to sell the data, but the deal went south and that got Fury killed. <laughs> but Pierce and Cap both see through that part, because it ain't true. Black Widow knows who killed Fury, and she's got the thumb drive. But what's on it? Cap and Widow head to Camp Lee to find out. And boy, what they find out. So yeah, Camp Lee. For those in the back, this is the place where Steve Rogers got his army training. Anyways, what he finds out. In short, Zola EXE tells him that after World War II, German scientist was brung over to the US, including him. And being a Hydra believer, he started the whole thing up again, secret-like, inside of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it's been running like that ever since. But all his ranting and raving was him stalling for time, because he's got a missile heading straight for that there bunker where they're standing. Ooh. Cap won't let a little missile put a crimp in his day. So it's time to call on Sam. He used a special wing pack, which he gets hold of again off screen, to use in the climax. Our trio pumper Hydra Mole and lure out Fury's killer, the Winter Soldier. But when the fists fly, we get a look at Bucky Barnes. Bucky Barnes was Cap's best buddy back in the day. Most of it you can pick up from Other Funk's first Avenger review. I'll put a link below for you. But after getting dunked in ice water, he was picked up by Zola, who gave Bucky a shiny metal arm and wiped the poor guy's memory. Hydra, man. But fighting in the streets a good way to get arrested. Ask me how I know! <laughs> Eesh. 
Lucky that Fury's always two moves ahead. Ah, that thing was squeezing my brain. Fury did beat the Reaper. Sir Bruce Banner came up with his heart slowing drug to try and stop him turning into the other guy, but no joy. What it did do though, is slow the heart to about a beat a minute. And that kind of makes you look dead. And if someone wants you dead, that's hella useful. So that's what Fury used. And that's why Maria Hill took the body to a secret bunker inside of a dam. Two moves ahead. So yeah, mission on. Stop three helicarriers, jog Bucky's memory, save the world again. But Cap figures that now's a great time for a rousing speech. <sighs> that guy. And that moves the launch up to now. So it's time to move. Now while the boys are out taking down the carriers, Pierce has got the World Security Council, in person, over to the base to see the carriers launch. Of Course, it's all a play, he's gonna shoot them or something. But one of the council was Widow in disguise. And she hacks the SHIELD database and spills all of Shieldra's dirty little secrets online. Now that's executive level stuff. So Fury steps in to be the other key. And put down Pierce, his friend of several years. <laughs> no wonder he's got trust issues. Back with Captain Falcon, it's two carriers down. But the real fight's on the third. Steve versus Bucky for the fate of the world. Long story short. They fight, pillar falls, Bucky pinned, Cap switches the cards seconds before the guns start up, world saved. But he can't leave a friend behind, but it's gonna cost him. So let's wrap it up. Bucky saves Cap from the river and disappears. Cap heals up, and sets out to find Bucky. So that was Captain America the Winter Soldier. And wouldn't you know it, it's another thumbs up from me. I'll be real here. Thrillers, don't do it for me. Tension would kill me. But this, sweetened up with a Marvel coating. That's the thing you see. Marvel movies can be any genre. Spy movie, heist movie, legal comedy, melodrama. You know that the Thor movies, at least the first two, were melodramas. So that's what they did here. Took a political thriller and a spy movie added Marvel magic, and made something that gets butts in seats and sells discs. And while it's Chris Evans as Cap what gets his name in the title, there's only so much acting required when you're Captain America. But in the first hour, our man gets his scenes. More interesting is Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow. Guarded, ever-changing, you can see why she was more in a match for Loki. Anthony Mackie rounds out the main trio, and his Sam Wilson is a commanding fella on screen. And we ain't even get to the man Sam Jackson's Nick Fury. Or Robert freaking Redford as Secretary Pierce, the Hydra Commander. Or even Sebastian Stan, Bucky Barnes. Not that he gets much to work with here. So let's get to it. The story. The political side, where nipping threads in the bud, the punishment before the crime starts coming up. And he's right. It ain't freedom, it's fear. And it nearly kills a lot of innocent people because Hydra. And I could take it to the real world and talk about a whole bunch of stuff, but that ain't my business. I will say though, that in the comics, Cap was only ever loyal to the dream. But yeah, if this was a straight political thriller, I'd probably hate it. And if you were looking at this to be a straight political thriller, you're way out of luck. And while we're talking about flaws, what the hell was up with the CGI wrinkles on Peggy Carter? They did not look good. But yeah, that's just nitpicky. This is a good movie. Suspense? Action? Introducing folks to the idea of political intrigue and spy stuff, while still being a Marvel movie. Pity about the one that followed it. But we're skipping that one. Not a bad film. Few decent scenes if I remember rightly. But I gotta stick to the plan and tag out. The next Marvelous Legend is the biggest thing in small Ant-Man, with the man, the myth, the chronicler of legend, fellow monkey. But don't fret fans. I'll be back for the finale. Till then, I've been Funky M, thanks for watching and see you around, humans!
Hey all, me again. Just reminding you to do all the YouTube stuff. Blah blah crowdfunding. Oh, we have a Discord. You should totally check it out. I'll link it below. But, you know, it's cool if you don't feel like doing any of that stuff. See you around, humans!